Let's look at one more example. Let's say that we have to draw the graph of the equation x squared minus 2x minus 3. And the absolute value of this is equal to y. So once again, the first step that we want to take is to draw this normally. So to draw it normally. So what we'll do in that case is we simply take it as y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. We can factorize this. We'll get x squared, what will this be? Um, plus x minus 3x minus 3 x times x plus 1 minus 3 times x plus 1 x minus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to y. Therefore when y is equal to 0 x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 1. And once again let's draw this in a graph our y-axis and our x-axis. So our points are at, or our points of intersection are at, x is equal to 3, which is around here, and x is equal to minus 1. So this right here is 3, and this right here is negative 1. Now the next step that we have to follow is to solve for the minimum point of our graph. How do we do that? Well, we can simply use the line of symmetry once again. So in this case, halfway in between these, there's a distance of 4. It'll be at the point 1. That's 2 away from 3 and 2 away from negative 1. Our line of symmetry will run through here. And if we plug the value of 1 into our equation, so y is equal to 1 whole squared minus 2 times 1 minus 3, we get 1 minus 2 minus 3, which gives us a value of negative 4, is equal to negative 4. Therefore, our minimum point is 1, negative 4. We can draw down our graph over here. It will be around this spot. So this here is 1 minus 4, and it is our minimum point. Now we'll go ahead and sketch this normally. Just imagine that it actually runs through the points that I made. Going up and up and up until infinity. Now once again, we have to account for the absolute value sign on our equation. So if in blue we have y is equal to f of x, we're looking to draw the graph of y is equal to the absolute value of f of x. And we know that since we're taking the absolute value of the function of x, it can never be negative. And whatever is below the x-axis is negative. So this part of our graph over here should not exist. Well, once again, how do we get rid of this? We reflect it in the x-axis. Reflecting means it's just like an identical image on the other side. So 1 minus 4 becomes on the other side 1, 4. And thus we reflect it in the axis. So I'll just draw over a final graph in yellow. So once again, since we're taking the absolute value, we have a graph which cannot be negative. So once it touches the axis, it kind of bounces back up and goes back on until infinity.